Hello, hello everybody, Hassan, your engineer, MBA and investor. And in today's video, I want to make a follow up video from Friday night. Of course, most of you saw that video on Saturday morning yesterday. And of course, this video is going to be a follow up on the idea that the FDA is very close to potentially approving Hexacell, which is the first CRISPR based therapy ever in human history. And that decision is about to come by early December, specifically December 8. But I want to follow up on a couple of how the news media and maybe, you know, the public reacted to this news, right? So everything I read from last video was maybe stock price, the official press release from Christmas Day Predicts. But what if, what, what did the public say, right? And, uh, and uh, lo and behold, uh, it was a big news, right? I mean, the New York Times, if you, we take a look at that, Genome editing for sickle cell clears huddle. <laughs> I think the person here edited out gene therapy because gene therapy is not genome editing. I think people should start uh, correcting themselves on that one. But anyways, uh, let's just assume they did say genome editing for sickle cell disease clears huddle. Another a novel potential cure is found to be safe. And of course, now they go into the details of what happened on the 31st of October. And this was on the New York Times front page on Wednesday. November 1st, and of course, uh, other headlines was the political issues in the Middle East there, which we will not get in today's video because this is well beyond our scope, and I will not comment on that any further. But anyways, um, so this was a big, big news, guys. Uh, I mean, New York Times covered it. If we just do a Google search, guys, the CNN, of course, everybody knows CNN. FDA considers first CRISPR genome editing treatment. The New York, of course, here, another article here, a panel tells FDA that CRISPR sickle cell cure is safe. Nature Journal is CRISPR safe. I mean, I mean, oh, that, that, that was an article three days before that. But anyways, uh, Reuters, of course, uh, covered that. And of course, the FDA official, yeah, official article here on it, CRISPR was published here. So... This is big, guys. This is this is big. I mean, look at this. It's an official report on what was discussed from the 31st October meeting with the external committee. All right. So, this is pretty big, guys. This is uh like clearly with this report they make it seem that they actually understand CRISPR, they understand what it means, they understand the whole cuts, the whole CRISPR Cas9, they understand everything, they understand efficiency, they're studying whatever data that CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex has for Hexacell, and uh, data looks good, guys. Data looks really, really good. I mean, this is not something new to us in this channel, but of course, for the people who haven't followed this company or specifically the program in the past, they wouldn't know, right? So, I mean, this is probably the chart you want to take a look at, right? So. Um, this is amazing, guys. This is this is amazing. I mean, summary of issues, right? Summary of issues. They gave a safety issue, right? So, I mean, look, guys. These guys, they have to do their due diligence, right? It's not like they're just looking at data. And they have to compare with everything they have, sample size, you know, look at these things like population with variant frequency. These are details that they have, genomic, genome variants, they have to take a look at, right? And this is not something just for CRISPR, right? This is something they would do for any other program, right? The, the, this is why the FDA requires an enormous amount of resources, enormous amount of resources, right? So patients will be followed for 15 years. So, I like it, guys. I like it. I like it. Sorry, guys. I, I'm a little bit speechless at some point because it's like, I don't know if you guys understand what I mean, but, you know, we've been in, in this for like over almost three years at this point and uh, with this channel. And, of course, some people have been in, in this community for well over three years. I mean, four, five, six, seven years, some cases, and even older I mean, you know, you look at folks who were following these companies back in 2013, 14, you know, following Caribou and following, you know, Aditas and all those companies. I mean, it's, it's just a amazing story, right? And, of course, there's a video here from the FDA. Let's take a look. 
the FDA team will be taking all of the discussion and the recommendations and reviewing it in its entirety. In a rapidly evolving field like this, it's important to have these public discussions. And we are committed to doing the very important work of bringing advancements to sickle cell disease and in partnering with all of our stakeholders. An important part of our mission is not just evaluating efficacy, but safety, um, both short and long term, and doing what we can to evaluate both the known and unknown risk of therapy, including potential monitoring of any off-target effects of exocell therapy and, and discussing some of the limitations. So thank you very much for playing a role in this process. So guys, this is a... Uh... This is going to be an interesting uh, decision on the 20, on the, sorry, the 8th of December of this year. So in less than basically, basically a month in a couple of days there, we'll have a response. It could be next week, could be two weeks. Don't forget, it's by December 8th. Uh, but my, my suspicion is they'll probably wait till early December there uh, because you guys got to remember, this is, this is the first time in history, right? And if you're in the FDA issues and you're serving the public safety, you know, you don't want to be the group of individuals that approved the first ever CRISPR-based therapy and then you end up seeing the safety issues and so on. So they want to do their due diligence. I think this is going to go... Um, in, my, in my understanding of everything I've seen, everything I've heard, everything I've read, the FDA will approve this program. Now, don't take this as financial advice, guys. This is just my opinion. This is my educated opinion, rather. But that does not mean I have the absolute truth. Uh, in fact, the only one that do have the absolute truth is, you know, the FDA when they do give that official response. You know, this is the part of the game. This is part of the investing space. But I'm so excited for uh, this big news because, you know, we have so many patients here with sickle cell disease and uh, people. Yeah, we saw a stat there over 20,000 just in the U.S. with severe diseases, right? Think about Canada, New Zealand, Australia. Europe, think about all those regions, Africa, right? And we're talking about severe sickle cell disease. What about folks that have less severe disease, sickle cell disease, you know? And we haven't even talked about beta thalassemia yet. So there's so many things, guys. There's so many things here that I think CRISPR can help with. I mean, we're just looking at these blood disorders, but there's so many other things, cancers, you know, rare diseases, you know. We take a look at all the things that Antilia is working on, beam therapeutics, what they're working on with their technology, you know, Caribou with the CAR T cells. There's so many things, guys, so many things, but this is the beginning. This is the beginning, right? This is the beginning. This is where we turn to a new chapter um, by 8 December. This is going to be a big, big news. I, I feel like we've already turned to this new chapter with this external committee review here with the positive outlook, but I think this is going to go big, guys. This is going to go big. You know, stay put. Stay put. Uh, you don't want to miss the right, guys. You don't want to miss the right. So, as always, guys, subscribe if you not like this video, if you found value. And let me know, guys, what do you guys think? I'm going to read the comments from last video. I've been busy here in Montreal here. That's why there's no webcam. But uh, I'll get to your comments soon, guys. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.